Blackout is a verbatim play, so it's constructed from interviews with recovering alcoholics at varying stages of their recovery. It puts these together in quite an impressionistic way. It moves at a really fast electric pace. It charts stories of chaos and what it is to be a suffering alcoholic. There's a lot of extreme behaviour for all of yeah, for the characters, all of them. really. They're very colourful. These aren't your regular drinking stories. These yeah. are people who have really... Like, they know what it's like to hit rock bottom. Maybe even if we just read to um, sort of page four, so just that first section, before the pronouns come in. We've been doing some text-ovation. Text-ovation, text we've called it, yeah. Uh, we've called we've it. been mining the text for lots of information relating to our characters and to what the story is as a whole, what the journey is that we want the piece to take. I think the big thing we found out in the first couple of days is that this is a play about identity, far more than it is about alcohol. It's about this thing that seems particularly prevalent in alcoholics, which is about distinguishing between the person you were and, and, and who you are now and how you look on that person. I had a fairly clear example of what an alcoholic was. Yeah, it was a pissy old man. Kind of one flew over the cuckoo's nest. That's what happened to Dad. He was getting strapped to a table, getting votes put through him against his will back in the 50s. Hopefully we can get some people that maybe haven't seen a lot of theatre or you know, haven't had the opportunity to, to do that and that would be really yeah. cool to get a different kind of audience. There's a lot of black humour, there's a lot of uh, dark humour but I think it's just universal stories, it's just stories about people. Whether you're alcoholic or, or drank alcoholically or not, there's, there's definitely something in it for you. It's trying to just get back, but get back to the beginning, complete as if we hadn't done it before. Try and get a fresh, completely fresh look on it. I was at the Nelson Arms, and there was this off here across the road. So rather than buy 16 fags for however much it was back then, we went over the road and got 20 boxes. I ordered a pint of Stella, necked it, come out the pub, walked across, didn't look, got run over on the way to the shop. I picked myself up when I got my fags and got run over again on the way back in. For the show dates and venues, see the links below. To keep up to date with more Scottish touring theatre, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button.